This week on Lemons Car Spotting. Hey, welcome to Lemons Car Spotting. I am Eric. That's Nick. We are going to talk about cars you've seen on the street. And without further ado, let us get started. Oh, man, this one's right up my alley. Uh, and yet a car I don't remember ever seeing. This is, of course, the Buick Somerset Regal T-Type. Uh, <laughs> just keep slapping names on it. Now, uh, yeah, keep going. The, uh, God, where do you even start? Uh, this is just the most GM thing that's ever happened. Like, it is an N-body, and of course, they wanted to make it sporty, so they made it a two-door and a T-Type, which... As it turns out, doesn't actually mean anything. Doesn't mean it's turbo. It was just the top trim. Weird, weird cars. I don't know who was buying this in 1985 or whatever, but someone did, and someone's kept it neat. These are great for lemons. Uh, you'll be in class C. Uh, just spectacular. 100. percent All right. Next up. Oh, what the? <laughs> We've got an art car, people. I, what are they trying to accomplish? I, it looks like it's made out of a food product. Um, I, oh God, I, I don't know. I mean, the only thing I can really identify on this thing are the uh, A-Team van era um, alloy wheels. Yeah. So um, it's, a, it's a great thing. Uh, you're making a statement, you know, go on your first OK Cupid date and pull up in this thing and just... <laughs> You know, watch the reaction. That's all I got to say. That's how you know. That's how you know uh, yeah. right away if there's shrieking. Oh, uh, speaking of in great shape, uh, this is a Bradley GT, I think. And uh -huh. as you can see across the back, it says 100% electric. I did not know this was a thing. There's a big, long uh, caption on the side talking about how the Bradley GT, there was a 50 uh, electric powered ones from the early 80s. So, you know, that was lead acid batteries and all kinds of things that you really want in a kit built Volkswagen pan car so that when you crash, it goes right through your legs and, and or your <laughs> sternum. Uh, this, I mean... Before we even get to the end, uh, this is going to be, we're going to be talking about this more at the end. So I'll just, we'll, we'll scoot on past this thing. Uh. All right. Next up. Oh, this, well, this is, this is not so uh, lemonsy. Uh, it's a focus. Oh, I have, I'm reading the caption. It's actually a Roush focus. <laughs> um, ah, God, yeah, we've talked a lot about how there is some reverence for Shelby and whatever else. And it's all just, you know, little weird, mostly cosmetic trim packages that they put onto stuff. I don't know if this thing had a special motor or not. First gen focus, not a terrible car. Uh, this one's got some extra wings, um, maybe aping a little bit the uh, Cosworth escort from pr previous era. Um, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, uh, it's of the time. I'll give it that. Yeah. There's nothing stopping you from doing that to uh, fo a focus for lemons. It'll take you about Indeed. $8 of material. Bullet oh, nose. Bear. Yeah, this is the Fozzie Bear, uh, the Muppet movie theme. I mean, it is right there for anybody. And we've been dying for a bullet nose Studebaker uh, in Lemons. It's kind of a perfect car. Um, I, it, this might be the most iconic Studebaker, actually, the bullet sure. nose ones. Um, but yeah, famous for being the car that Fozzie borrowed from his uncle while he was hibernating uh, for the Muppet movie. And, uh, kind of the same shape and uh, in terms of condition as Fozzie's. So, I mean, the theme's sure. right there for you. There you go. All right. Uh, final car. Oh, man, it's a Tojin. <laughs> now, uh, I knew nothing of the Tojin until earlier this year when Ranwen Park Racing brought one and raced it at Sonoma Raceway. Uh, it was incredible. It's an amazing vehicle. It's obviously based on a whatever generation, third generation, I guess, uh, F-body yeah. Firebird. Uh, it's got its own special um, trim panel in the back. It's a light that goes all the way across. It had an optional optional cassette tape based GPS machine, which the left <laughs> car had. This one is, um, you know, either been a victim of low level crime or it's in the middle of a, of a restoration. I 
certainly hope the latter. It does look like it's at some kind of enthusiast-based auto shop. So uh, hopefully this is a Tojin that is uh, coming back to streets or racetrack near you soon. Yeah. Wow. Uh, going right into the hooptiest. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, $70,000 or whatever they were. And uh, this is probably the condition of most of them. But I mean, this is like fourth on the tier of hoopty for this week. Uh, there is the art car. Uh, I'm not going to pick the art car because at least it's purposeful and is being used for something. Um, that said, uh, the next one, the Bradley GT. I mean, this is just classic early 80s gas crisis. Let's solve the problem of electric by putting electric things into a gas car. And the Bradley GT is really the absolute worst idea for doing that. Uh, <laughs> Volkswagen pan underneath. Uh, it is just putting like four lead acid batteries in this thing makes it over gross vehicle weight. Uh, and then, you know, you're putting seats in it. Uh, horrible, horrible. And as mentioned, somehow has a manual transmission in it for reasons. Uh, terrible idea. Terrible. Uh, well, it ran enough to get crashed or yeah. wrecked or driven over a curb or something. Yeah. Uh, the Lemons build of the week, uh, the car we want to see most in Lemons, you hinted at it, Eric, is the bullet nose Studebaker. Look, I mean, it's just it's an incredible looking machine. This one is in condition that uh, nobody would care if you cut it up you know, just a little bit to put a roll cage in it. And then it would just look so cool on the track. It would be a great use of a fine looking uh, old machine and you would be a hero and probably go home with some kind of major award. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it for this week. Uh, Nick's right on point about that. So uh, keep tagging your stuff. Hashtag lemons car spotting. We'll talk about it here and we'll see you next week. And you get to dress up as the Muppets. What's not to like?